think when my entire tennis career was based on uh, my trying to be the best I could possibly be through my entire career. And uh, I came close to winning a US Open or a Grand Slam event uh, a couple of times. I had long matches. And uh, at the pinnacle of the sport, I played Davis Cup for many, many years, reached two Davis Cup finals. So, uh, you know, I think I look back at my career saying, you know, I did all I could possibly do and uh, feel very comfortable about it. I just want someone to say to me that, you know what, your record is broken now and, and that hasn't happened yet. It's getting a lot, lot better because a lot more uh, tennis courts have come up in uh, housing complexes and, and far off places and suburbs and so on and so forth. So there are more courts available for play. More people are, in fact, playing the sport. I think the interest is definitely there. The quest for excellence is a different issue altogether, where uh, we're trying to get kids to uh, get to play on the tour and get to play in the Grand Slams. And that's why the Zorro to Wimbledon program is very, very special, because it gives them a belief that, you know what, this is exactly where I want to try and make it, if I can work hard enough. Not very different, to be honest. I think, uh, you know, we just kind of mature physically later and mentally sooner, in my opinion, than the Western athlete. And so what a Western athlete may perhaps do when he's 18 or 19 years old may take us 24, 25 years old to be able to do it because physically, I think we mature more um, sort of in our mid-20s when uh, the Western athlete might be 18 or 19 when uh, he does it. Uh, and the reverse is the same as far as uh, mental maturity is concerned. Uh, uh, we've moved the needle so much since I played the game and uh, when people con consistently used to ask me, yes, you play tennis, but what do you do for a living? And uh, today nobody's going to ask Kadonia, you know, and play cricket or, or uh, you know, Binza that, what he did, what's he, what's he doing for a living? So I think when you when you look back, I'd like to think that as far as India is concerned and sport is concerned, to a great extent we were able to revolutionize the way people think about uh, how fast sports can get. I was able to obviously play on the tour for many, many years, uh, nearly two decades, uh, Davis Cup and so on. But uh, the challenge then take over and do television for the next 20, 25, 27 years was also very special because um, you, you're, you're challenged with a different aspect of the sport to be able to explain to the viewer what's going on uh, without sort of being um, uh, in your face. So as far as I was concerned, I was trying to give the tennis fan enough to hear and listen to mm -hmm. and the fan in the house that was not a tennis fan to come on board and watch the sport. So I had to kind of blend that well enough, and at the same time with the producer in your ear the whole time, trying to explain to the audience that uh, this is what's happening. Again, you know, it's desire must drive you uh, to be able to work beyond the realm of what you can possibly think is uh, feasible and fathomable. And then uh, if you're willing to do it as a passion and with desire, and you have the overwhelming desire to be the best that you could possibly be, uh, then you better give it your all because uh, you don't want to give it for two years and say, well, I gave it my best, I'm not going to do it anymore. I think you follow your dream because if you have the passion and the drive to be able to do it, uh, you know, you want your parents to be a part of it, you want your coach, your community to be a part of it, and uh, more importantly, you really need to... Uh, decide for yourself that that light at the end of the tunnel is what I'm going to be 10 years from now. Every single one of my watches have been incredibly lucky for me because every time I've, every time I've worn it, I feel, uh, uh, I feel very privileged. And uh, every time I look at it, I feel, you know, I hope I've earned it.